All right, continuing bell work 15A. I've kind of changed my mind. I was going to do uh, number four completely with you, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do number five completely with you, and then in the second video, you can, I'll help start number four and number six with you, and you'll finish four and six on your own. So I'm going to do number five with you. Now, This on the back, you need to be a little bit careful because Cycle Dream goes with number four, and Blazing Saddles goes with number five. So you got to make sure you're careful what graph goes with which problem. I've made that mistake before. Okay, so let's, we're gonna do number five and number five, well, let me read the whole thing first. Cycle Dream Enterprise and Blazing Saddles Incorporated are bike rental companies. Each company charges a different flat rental fee and a rental rate per hour. The graphs below show the total earnings Y for each company given the number of hours the bikes were rented X. So some you know, a family or whatever, a person rents a bike and they, write, they rent the bike for X amount of hours. So your hours are down here and then they're charged a certain amount. So you're getting charged that one time flat rental fee, and then you're getting charged a rental rate per hour. So we are going to find and write an equation for uh, number five is for Blazing Saddles Incorporated. So let's look at the graph. Well, finding um, the slope and the y-intercept in this problem is a little different than we, we did on the front of the bell work. Uh, on this part, um, we're using a graph instead of a table, which actually makes the initial value much, much easier to find. So right here is your initial value. Remember, your initial value is the y-intercept. So it's where the graph touches the y-axis. So for this one, each grid line is going by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, <clears throat> excuse me, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, the top would be 100. <clears throat> So our initial value, our y-intercept, is halfway between 30 and 40. Well, that means that our y-intercept between 30 and 40 would be 35. So our initial value is $35. So that means Blazing Saddles charges $35 as a flat rental fee. So now we need to find this, the rate of change. And remember, the rate of change is your slope. And your slope is your rise over run. So we need to pick two points on the graph and we find our rise and our run. So I'm gonna pick this point here. Now remember, rise then run. It's rise over run. So you wanna do your rise first and then the run. Remember you go from, on the graph from left to right. So you go up or down first and then to the right. Okay, so our rise goes from 50 to 80. This is not three. That would not be correct. Three would be if you counted the, the grid lines. We're not counting the grid lines because each grid line goes up by 10. So it goes from 50 to 80, which means it rises 30. And then the run would be four. So given that information, we can now find our rate of change and we know the initial value so we can write our equation for blazing saddles. So let's start with the rate of change. The rate of change, which is your slope, is rise over run. 30 is my rise, the run is four. Well, when you put 30 divided by four in your calculator, you actually get 7.5. But we're talking about money here, so we wanna make sure we write this as money, which means we need to put it a zero after the five to make it 750. So that means Blazing Saddles charges $7.50 per hour. And they have that one-time fee, that initial value, which is this number that I just circled there, of $35. Okay, so now we are going to write the equation for Blazing Saddles. Remember, it's y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b. So the slope goes in front of x, the y-intercept goes behind x. Now, when we go to write the equation, you can actually drop the zero after the five. So you could put 7.5x. If you put 7.50x, I would not mark it wrong, but you can drop the zero for the equation. So 7.5x, and then the initial value goes at the end, plus 35. So that is our equation for number five, which is for the information for blazing saddles. 
If you have any questions on number five, please ask.